I have been asked to make a video tutorial of my new beta patching program. There really isn't that much to it and it's pretty easy to use. So the first thing we're going to need to do is download both of these zip files. They, you'll be able to find them via a link that I'll be posted in the video description, so just check that. Now then, once you have both of the zip files, you just need to extract them to the same folder with your favorite extracting software, it doesn't matter what one you use. And now you'll have three files. You'll have a patching file, a patching exe file, and a readme. Now the fourth thing we're going to need is not included with either zip file, and that is an Ocarina of Time U1.0 ROM. So, from here, I recommend renaming your Ocarina of Time file because for this program you're going to have to type it out and you probably don't want to type out that big long example of a file name. So now that we have our shorter version we'll just run this and here we see that we have an option between patch a ROM or create a patch. For the sake of some I will only be showing how to use one for now. So type one to patch your ROM. Now all you have to do is make sure that all of your files are in the same directory. And here's the important thing. You have to type it out exactly how it is. It's case sensitive, so if you have a capital O in your file name and you type it out in all lowercase, it's not going to work. So make sure you have it typed out exactly the way it is, and also make sure that you include the file extension. If you do not include the file extension, it will not work. Now as long as you have the patch file in the same folder, you will be set to go. So now we have this typed in, press enter, it will patch the file, tell us patching is successful and everything, press enter to exit. Pretty simple. Now. It will have created a file called patched ROM. This is also a Z64 file. It is the same size. Now this patched ROM is the ROM you will want to run. It does not actually edit the original file. I just wanted to make it that way when I programmed it. Most patching software will edit the original file, but for mine I wanted to have it output its own file. So now all we have to do is run this file in Project 64 or any other emulator for that matter and you will see that it is our restricted mod. So that's really all there is to it. Now I will be showing you how to make your own patch file, just in case you are interested. First thing we have to do is delete our old patch.gpatch file, because it will override that. Technically you don't really have to delete it, but I recommend doing so anyway. Now we will run our patching program. Now this time on the menu select, between choices 1 and 2, we will pick 2, which is create a patch. Now we have to enter in the original ROM, which again has to be case sensitive, and you also need that file extension. It's very important. And now we have our edited ROM, which again is case sensitive, and it also needs the file extension. So once we have them both, push enter. Just wait a few minutes, or seconds, not minutes. And it will create our patch. It's a little slow, but it gets the job done. And now press enter to exit. And we have our patching file. I hope that answers any questions that you guys might have. If not, feel free to ask in the comments. And I will do my best to help you out. Um, so have fun!